Israel's war cabinet is meeting to decide how to respond to the unprecedented Iranian missile and drone attack overnight. It's the first time the Iranians have directly targeted Israel from Iran. The Iranians say it was all in response to the bombing of their consulate in Syria two weeks ago and the killing of Revolutionary Guard commanders, which Iran blames Israel for. Speaking ahead of the meeting, War Cabinet member Benny Gantz says Israel will respond when it feels the time is right. In the face of Iran's threat, we will build a regional coalition and exact the price from Iran in a way and a time that suits us. And most importantly, in the face of our enemy's desire to harm us, we will unite and become stronger. Around 300 Iranian drones as well as ballistic and cruise missiles were fired at Israel on Saturday night. Israel says most were intercepted by its defense systems. Iran's Joint Chief of Staff says its operation against Israel is over, but is promising to continue if Israel strikes again. We see this operation as completed and successful. It's over from our perspective. But if the Zionist regime does anything against us, either in Iran or elsewhere, our next operation will be much bigger. If the U.S. gets involved, none of its bases in the region will be safe. Well, let's bring in Hamda Salho. She's joining us now from Tel Aviv. So, Hamda, first of all, how are some of the statements from war cabinet members like Benny Gantz being interpreted? Well, the Israeli war cabinet consisting of Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister, the defense minister, Yoav Gallant, and Benny Gantz, an emergency member of the government since the war began, is going to decide if there is going to be any sort of retaliation against the Iranians. Now, the Israelis are saying that this is far from over. This is not the end. However, there are some members of Israel's right wing who are members of Netanyahu's coalition. We're talking about known ultranationalists who want to see a response that is hefty and they want it to be immediate. But the Israelis are also speaking with American counterparts about all of this and reports in some American media outlets are indicating that perhaps Netanyahu was dissuaded from launching any sort of retaliatory attack in the hours after Iran had launched its retaliation for the Israelis striking its consulate in Damascus. So there are a lot of moving parts here. The war cabinet is scheduled to give a press conference conference sometime this evening where they're going to answer questions about what's going to be next for Israel. Will there or won't there be a response? All right. That's, let's thank Hamda Salhoud there for that update from Tel Aviv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.